All right, everybody, a little bit of celebrity news and a celebrity feud is now in the hands of police. TMZ's Harvey Levin is in L.A. Good morning. Morning, Jenny. Okay, so we're talking about this rapper Azalea Banks who wants an apology from Russell Crowe. It sounds like there's a video that they're both saying, okay, this video will show that I'm innocent, and the other says this video will show that I'm innocent. Well, we are talking about uh, Russell Crowe and Azalea Banks, and, and what happened was they got into a big thing at the Beverly Hills Hotel. So what happened was apparently they were inside of a room or a suite uh, with a bunch of people playing music, and she didn't like the choice of music and just started ranting. Now, according to Russell's friends, and she doesn't really dispute this part, she picked up a glass and said, I'm going to cut you guys with this. According to her, Russell then called her the N-word, choked her, spit on her, and threw her out of the room. Russell denies calling her the N-word, denies choking her, denies spitting on her, but does say, I did pick her up and I took her out because I thought she was going to attack people with a glass and cut their throat, and she went crazy in the room. The witnesses in the room, including Jim Jeffries, the comedian, they say it's absolutely true what Russell is saying. She's crazy. Now, there is video. She's filed a battery report with the Beverly Hills right. Police Department. And the Beverly Hills cops are going to go over to the Beverly Hills Hotel, look at the video in the hallway, and see if they can make heads or tails of it if it tells the full story. I probably won't tell the full story because a lot of it happened inside the room and there's no video, but the witnesses are all siding with Russell. Interesting. Okay, we'll see when that, you know, if and when that video comes out. Now, the other big story we've been following here on the show today, and I know you've been covering as well, is Melania Trump, who says she. she doesn't necessarily blame her husband entirely for the comments that he was, you know, heard saying on the mic 11 years ago, uh, indicating that he was egged on by Billy Bush and also indicating that, hey, this was a long time ago and this is just boy talk. Well, yeah, she, it, it, it is kind of weird. She is um, saying that Howard Stern and Billy Bush goaded uh, Trump into saying what he said. I, I, I don't think that's necessarily true. I mean, when you go on Howard's show, you know you're going to have that kind of discussion in part. And uh, so I, I'm not sure that 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 really flies. The other thing she did say is that she was asked about the women who were making sexual assault allegations against her husband. And she said, look, you know, it is interesting and if not sus very suspicious that this is all being timed two weeks before mm -hmm. the election, that if people really had this kind of issue with Donald Trump, you know, when he ran for president, and this has been going on for 14 months, why didn't people come out then and say he's unfit to be president because, and why is it all happening two weeks before the election? So she thinks the timing of all of this is suspicious. Well, and she also said that they knew, you know, hey, when we got into this whole thing, when, when, he decided he was going to run for president. She said he's been recorded all over the place. He's been on a ton of different programs and TV shows, and who knows what might be out there. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Um, and look, you know, the, being on Howard Stern, it's no, no secret. He's, Howard Stern is hugely popular. So, you know, all of that stuff, he actually did it, and nobody said anything for a long time, and this has all been coming up in the last couple of weeks. She's saying it's all very suspicious. I think she's kind of, you know, uh, in some ways, she's in sync with her husband, who is mm -hmm. saying that this, you know, when he's saying this whole thing is rigged, he's saying that the media just wants him to lose, that they're not covering him, they're prosecuting him. Right. All right. Well, thank you for indulging us in a little uh, celebrity and political news today, Harvey. We appreciate it. Okay, Jenny. We'll see you later. Sounds good. TMZ, by the way, weeknights at 11 p.m. and also weekdays at 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. And you can also find a link to the show website on our website, fox4news.com.